Yo, Yankees fans, how's it going yet again? It is Felix from NYNews.com. And let's talk about fake news. Fake news has been dominating talk since uh, 2016. Oh, and somebody doesn't agree with something, it's fake news. It happens on both sides. Fake news this, fake news that. Sometimes it is fake news, but we're talking about politics. We're talking about sports here. We're talking about a guy, Nick Cofordo, who looks like your typical old nice guy. In other words, he looks like a professional. He doesn't look like one of these douchebags out there spreading lies. Just go to his Twitter yourself. Look at him, Nick Cofardo. Look him up and judge for yourself. He works for the Boston Globe. What Nesson did, they recited what he said. So not only do people not do their research and track down the original source of a story, they automatically believe that it is fake because it's coming from Boston. If that's the case, then everything that comes out of New York is fake. And everybody that lives outside of New York has that supposed right to say that everything that comes out of New York is fake because maybe you don't like the New York Yankees. This is how New York Yankees fans look. You look like little children. You look like babies. Just because somebody from Boston reported that the Yankees might be looking to trade Stanton this offseason doesn't mean because you hate Boston that it's fake. Okay? It's coming from a reliable source. It's coming from a professional platform. So with that being said, like I stated on my Twitter, I said I am not passing judgment. I am going to wait for the winter meetings and beyond. I cannot make my assessment because I am a fan of the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox are their rivals. I got attacked relentlessly. A lot of people agreed with me and a lot of people disagreed with me. Oh, Nesson is fake. Even though it didn't come from Nesson, it came from the Boston Globe. Oh, because you think John Carlos Stanton doesn't have a permanent home in the tri-state area. That it's been a ploy that he was only going to be a Yankee for a year. You're basing that off that? No, I am basing it off a professional platform. A professional like Nick Corfordo. So then again, John Carlos Stanton has everything in Los Angeles. He has a home there. He's from there. He grew up there. So if John Carlos Stanton does not have a home or apartment in the tri-state area, hmm, maybe it'll be easier for him to approve a trade to Los Angeles because he has nothing that he's connected to in New York City. What is he going to leave behind? Does he own anything here? So you can see how that looks and how that confirms what these Boston writers are writing about. Long story put short, Yankees fans, that or bashing Nesson, the Boston Globe. You don't even know the Boston Globe was the original source of that either. You're just going along because you saw Nesson, the logo Nesson, and based your opinion off of that. Well, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. I'm going to wait for the winter meetings and beyond. Naysayers that want to dismiss this Yankee shopping stance in this offseason, you could deny all you want. You could go with the bandwagon, as they say, going along with the uh, cult or whatever, because they all agree, you should agree as well. It is really pathetic that writers from Boston have to make it a point that, hmm, maybe they're helping you get a Bryce Harper or Machado, because that's what they're doing. I don't see New York sports writers making these claims because I know for a fact that the Yankees ship out Stanton that's just a certified fact that the Yankees would sign a Machado or Harper and news just broke that the Yankees offered uh, Justice Sheffield for Paul Goldschmidt of the D-backs this confirms yet again that the Yankees want to stay under the luxury tax and they'd rather trade instead of signing players via free agency this confirms yet again that the Yankees are looking to ship out John Carlos Stanton. So the moral of the story here is, folks, never jump to conclusions. If there's time to assess something, you use that time to assess it. As of now, I'm not passing judgment on Boston writers. If a professional like Nick Conforto put that out, I'm just going to have to wait and see. Like always, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. 
And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you on next. Sunset